So I found this dead bee in the garden. Uh, it didn't really look so interesting until I put it under this pretend microscope. This is actually a bee's knee. Not as cute as I once thought. The almost invisible turquoise and magenta stripes on a bee's wing with the tiny microscopic golden hairs. For an animal we see almost daily, almost every part of a bee is alien to us when viewed this close. Some of the hairs on the bee look a bit like primitive feathers with hairs on the hairs. This is the mouth of the bee, that furry bit there. You could call that the tongue. This is another part of the mouth, and you can see a vein there that possibly use, they use to take honey in for digestion. I'm not sure. And this is what bees are best known for, their stinger. Maybe not quite seen this close though. It's a little sack that's filled with muscles and a series of tubes that form the basis of the actual stinger itself. Below here you can see the muscles that contract to push out the venom and this is where it detaches from the bee. Towards the top of the screen, um, you can see the dried up venom sac. Um, it's just a bit wrinkled. And then as you lead up away from that is the thread that carries the venom from the bee. And these are little not sure what they are, little ganglions or something, little extra venom sacs. <laughs> 